Restream again. Author of Freedom's Quest. Owner of kayakingksc.com. And uh, Kendall Vellum, a uh, woodpecker. Hey, so um, you know, some new stories come up about Space Center and also uh, my diving days as an Air Force there on the test range, Eastern Test Range. Just happened to, um, I was talking to my old dive buddy Frankie the other day. And recall, what a disaster this was. So um, we were out, you know, on Antigua, West Lesser Antilles. We were uh, out on the Jolly Rogers. Um, that's a uh, a pirate type ship that does parties, gives out too much rum, and um, yeah, after the Jolly Rogers and way too much rum, we uh, went to the near the uh, tracking base, and there was a party going on. Um, at a beach hotel but only they had a steep cover charge you know to keep the riffraff out and uh, my uh, partner for, I didn't mind paying the cover charge my partner Frankie with way too much drum says um, come on we're going to sneak in and um, the structure was such as the, the uh, it had an elevated dance floor that was actually kind of level with the with the lower part of the building, the roof of the building. It's weird, pretty weird. But so, we were running around the front of this hotel, and I, I, somehow another Frank found a ladder. Now, keep in mind, there's too much room. And um, we climbed the ladder up to the, on the front of this hotel, up to the roof, and we got up to the, the top part of the roof, and then we could look right down on the dance floor. And the way it was, um, the way it worked, the, the way the dance, the lighting was, the lighting actually lit up the part that Frank and I had to walk across. So we're, we're eyeing up the bouncers and seeing how we we're going to make our move. And then look over, and dang it, if Frank isn't passed out on the roof. I was pretty pissed. I mean, I didn't want to go up there to start with. But now the, the guy who talked me into it's passed out. So um, I guess I just get angry and just stand up and walk right down the roof and three um, three bouncers grab me. Three big black guys and it looks like they're gonna beat me up. You know, they're giving me a really evil stare. And I uh, quickly explain no, 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 I'm not trying to sneak in. My partner is on your roof, passed out, and I just want to get some help getting him off. I came down here, you know, out in the open to get some help. I need help. They didn't believe what I said. Other than the fact that Frankie was passed out on the roof. So, um... I was somehow able to talk to the manager and a couple bouncers to go back up on the roof and during the reggae music and wake Frank up, kind of half carry him, half stumble him down. You know, but we got outside the building, got him, I got out of there, outside the building, and those three bouncers followed us out. And man, they were hovering around like they were going to, they still wanted to beat us up. Um, you know, they knew the game. And uh, I, I guess because in reality, Frankie was just incoherently drunk, and they could tell that part that saved us from getting a a whooping. <laughs> anyway, I was pissed off at Frank for a long time, and it was kind of a funny story. It didn't negate the fact that I still had to walk across that lighted roof. That lit roof, and ask a bunch of anger bouncers for help for getting my drunk friend off the roof. But hey, Bruce Reba out.